How you doing? So what is the most important MCOC attributes in the game? So let's start with Diablo. So when it comes to champion attributes, he has 5 out of 5 in survivability. You know the crazy part about Diablo when it comes to survivability? It's like this is not even like running damage mastery when it comes to champion attributes. If you're running damage mastery, he nearly doubles his survivability. You know, so let's say he has 5 out of 5 without damage mastery, it would be like 9 out of 5, which is crazy. No doubt, without a running damage mastery, he is the most survivable or most durable champion in the game, without a doubt. So, what is the most important champion attributes in the game? It really depends on your skill level as well as your masteries. For me personally, the most important attributes in the game is survivability. I mean, it might not be for you, but for me it is. So don't let, don't let me or don't let any other MCOC YouTuber tell you what's the most important attributes in the game. It really depends on your skill level as well as your masteries. So it's something you have to figure out by playing the game. Let's say you can solo a lot of fights with Cosmic Ghost Rider, right? Then damage could be the most important attribute in the game for you when it comes to utility. You know, you can maybe be able to solve a lot of fights with Doom. Then, utility is going to be the most important attribute on the game for you. So it really depends on your skill level and your diff on your masteries. So, as well as when it comes to ease of use, which I'll go back talk about a little bit later. Defender strength, I say Doom is pretty good for defender strength. But I rather, personally, I'd rather have Apocalypse when it comes to Defender Strength, and he's a, Apocalypse is a pretty good champion too. So let's look at, let me talk about Ease of Use and when, when going to Quake. Let's go to Quake. So when it comes to ease of use, it's not very easy to use, but if you're a very skilled player, you know, ease of use could be the most important attribute for you if you are a very skilled player. And Quake, she can solo a lot of fights in the game, even fights in Abyss, you know. The only reason why there's not many videos when it comes to Abyss solo with Quake is because you have to play perfectly with Quake, you know, to be able to beat you know millions of helpful because her damage is not that great also playing her is pretty boring you know after a while you get pretty bored because she does the same thing over and over that's why i think quake can be really good uh ease of use could be the number one thing for you if you're a very skilled player because quake is like one of the best champions in the game if you know how to use her as you can see let me talk about now let me just move on to utility and when it comes to quality versus quantity so in, let's look at quake's utility so she has three abilities she has evade concussion and stun yet she has five out of five in when it comes to utility that's debatable let's just say it's five out of five so it's really when kabams when they talk about it they're talking about quality quality versus quantity i do agree that quality should be better than quantity but I'm going to talk about why quantity could be better than quality, you know, especially how the game, the meta of the game always changes. So let's talk about why quantity could be better than quality. So let's look at a champion that best suit for that. Omega Sentinel. Just look at her abilities. She has self repair, incinerate, cover die, seal block, tracking, armor, and auto block. You know, it doesn't even say here, but she has also resistant as well as immune to nullify, fate seal, and stagger, I believe. So let's look at it. Where is it at? So, adapted body. Always active. Omega Sentinel adapted body grants her immunity to nullify, stagger, and fate seal. And against mutants, her ability accuracy cannot be modified. So why do I think that quantity 
could be better than quality this is like that paragraph or bulletin at itself is the reason why what if they make champ more champion that can nullify right or has stagger or has faith seal what's her name Omega Sentinel is a good counter for that champion okay well what if they make more mutants in the game she's a great counter against mutants too so you can see as against mutants her ability actually cannot be modified so you know what if they make more like biohazard or like cow drops notes in the game she's also great for that because as you can see here when it comes to her strength Omega Sentinel Nanotech allows her to take no damage from bleed and poison. Not only that, effects and grants her immunity to the region reduction from poison. When inflicted with the bleed or poison effect, Omega Sentinels gain a self repair buff, healing 20% of missing health over 10 seconds. So she's actually really good for those nodes because obviously because of her armor, that's another utility she has that makes her very survivability. You know, but not only that, it's because she heals, she regens when she has a bleed and poison on her. And what if also they make more champions that inflict bleed or inflict poison? Mega Sentinel is gonna be good for that too. She might not be like the best counter for that fight, but she can do so many fights. And like I mentioned, the meta of the game can change any time it's or always changing that's why she's so good that's why quantity could be better than quality because of that she has this sh nano shifting pre-fight ability what if they have more champ that like as you could see on one of her abilities it's like inflict attracting debuff bypassing the effects of mist so they could have more champions like professor x or like ebony mod that cause people to miss so that's why she's so good i think that's why she's underrated as you can see here adaptive body so she can adapt to so many things in the game you know it's crazy that what's her name quake got five out of five in utility and somehow she has mega sentinel has three out of five which doesn't make sense and tech is known for utility mostly and there's i gotta say there's a lot of flaws when it comes to champion attributes but you know you gotta make the best of it uh, another thing I want to talk about is what is the most important thing in the game, okay? So let's go to Sheesh, I think he's in the second one it Starts with a D there you go. I was gonna have you guess but it's kind of obvious When it comes to utility doom has five out of five, okay, and it's not just like Look at this, she has shock, stagger, unblockable, nullify. I think he has more than that. But, you know, he has the quantity, but he also has quality. And I think that's probably his best part is quality. You know, for me, like, what's the most important thing in the game is regeneration. It might not be for you, but that's for me. And bef uh, before I used to think it was damage over time. But since, since I learned more about the game and the way the meta game changes, since we're not co counting regen, and regen is for survivability, let's talk about utility. What is the most important utility? Assuming regen is not included. Utility, I would say it's nullify. It's the most important utility in the game. I would say it's probably not even close, okay? You, nullify can do so much. They're, like, it's really almost impossible to solo fights that, 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 that doesn't have, that if you don't have ability to nullify buffs, in some cases that's why nullify is the most important utility in the game or attributes in the game besides regeneration i think and it's not even close uh, the second is debatable um i would say it's power control and the third is damage over time so number two and number three is in interchangeable and that's what makes doom really good he has all three three of the most important things in the game you know, he has nullify, power control, and damage over time. That's what a lot of people like Doom, and that's what makes him so good. He has such great utility because of that. That's why for me, I don't know, like, Infamous Iron Man is actually better than him. You know, I will talk about it in another video. 
if I think he's better or not, but that's why I think Doom is a really good champion. What do you guys think? What is the most important attributes for you in the game? For me, it's survivability. For you, it might not be. So it depends on you. Thank you.